How much that set your dad back? I don't know. Maybe a few grand. I don't worry about the price. <laughs> I wish my dad was a millionaire hedge fund manager, too. <laughs> Not me. I trust in the Lord to provide me with what I need. Oh, please, give me a break. I hear enough of that Bible thumping at home. And the preacher's daughter has spoken hallelujah. <laughs> oh, God. Good morning, people. Good morning. Good morning. As soon as Marcus arrives, we can get started. Marcus is always late. <laughs> well, there's the ladies' man. What? Yeah, you got a little, uh, yeah, mm hmm. Right. <laughs> uh. Thanks for calling 3D Marketing and Advertising. How can I help you? Nice of you to join us, Marcus. Sorry, guys. I just. One of, one of those mornings. <laughs> nice. Listen, we have a potential new client. A rather interesting potential client. Private protection? What's so interesting about a security firm? Oh, obviously you haven't read past the title page. <laughs> oh. A sex toy company? Yes. They have put out a request for bids for their upcoming line of condoms. What are we going to make? 3D penises? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Wait, is, is this serious? Yes, I mean, not that. But apparently this is a very important client for our new chairman, Mr. King. The request to put in a bid came directly from him. Plus, if we nail this, we could possibly be the exclusive advertising and marketing firm for their entire product line. If we nail it, huh? Good choice of words, boss. <laughs> Come on, Paul. <laughs> Uh, Marcus, you're going to take the lead on this. The rest of you send him your ideas so that we have a direction to discuss at tomorrow's 9 o'clock. This is a priority. I want the proposal complete by the end of the week. Good luck in the field today. Well, okay. <laughs> Basically, we have until the end of the week, so we gotta make it a quickie. Wow. Lord, please forgive the priorities of my workplace. They don't have the power of you. Hallelujah. Marcus, 
How was the meeting with Happy Candies? Hello? Marcus? Sorry, you have the wrong number. What? Wrong number? What do you mean I have the wrong number? Yes, I'm sorry, but this is Erica Whitley. How did you get this phone? This is my work phone. I've had it for a year. Bullshit! My company's had this phone for five years. This is Marcus Levy's phone. Who is Marcus Levy, ma'am? Again, you have the wrong number. Oh my god, I don't care what you say, you lying thief! You're gonna return that phone! Please, I don't have time for this. I'm working. Hello? Hello? Grace! So that's basically what I came up with, Aaron. Aaron? Aaron? Huh? Oh, hey. Sorry. My mind was somewhere else. Yeah. I could tell the 9 o'clock tomorrow. You have any ideas? I don't know. I was thinking the 3D penis model. I know I meant it as a joke, but I think that's the bang this line needs. Really? The penis idea? You think? Mm -hmm. I've been racking my brain. I can't think of anything. Everybody at work is pretty much worthless. Maybe that is what we could do. I don't know how Paul is gonna convince someone to be scanned for the 3D model. I'll be his model. What? Uh, yeah, where are you gonna get a model ad for something like that? I don't know. <laughs> Craigslist? Boom. You know there's killers on the Craigslist. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't use that. Marcus's his phone and insists that it's his. Huh? That makes no sense. I know, right? So, I'm gonna call him back. I need you to get Verizon on the phone. I wanna cancel that line. Okay. <sighs> Listen, whoever you are, you're about to get it. This is the last time you stole anything from anyone! Uh, oh, hello? <laughs> Yes, hello? Yes, I would like to report one of the phones on our corporate account. Why are you phone. calling me, you asshole? Look, you're... Marcus? Marcus, let me call you back. Hang up the phone. Huh? Hang up the phone. Why? Just hang it up, man. What is, what is going on? What's wrong? What happened? Number. Oh, Jess. I've just been so stressed. I feel like I'm going crazy. Jess, it's okay. That's why I'm here. All right? It's my job to relieve you of some of your stress. Okay? Thanks. Priceless. Grace, why weren't there any refreshments this morning? Uh, there was no money in the petty cash account, so I couldn't order any. Christine, didn't you get my request form? Mm -hmm. Request form? No, I didn't see it. I put it on your desk. Sorry, I'm like, guys. You better have something Sorry. good for us. Actually, I do. The lady packed your bag this morning, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Christine, um, there's no return address. Could be a bomb. Luke, it's fine. Oh. It's not like we make weapons here. That guy is crazy. He's not crazy. He's a little He's crazy. He's a little anyway, all right, can we focus? 
Look, so I got your guys' emails, all right? And they were all trash, so thank you for nothing. But I think I found something. Now, Aaron came up with the perfect way that we can land this client and really launch our product line. Which one? The 3D penis idea. Really? What? Look, before you guys flip out, let me break it down for you. We're going for shock value, okay? Conversation starter. And what better way to get people talking than a monster dong? What? There is none. Plus, it's appropriate for sex shops, and we can use it at the conventions, where we can launch the whole campaign. Okay, okay. Let's say we do a 3D penis. Mm -hmm. What kind of penis? A white penis? A black penis? Yellow? Brown? You know they come in all shapes and sizes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Different shapes? Yeah. Hook, hammer, pole. <sighs> so, Holly, can you... Do something like this big, please. Yeah, I will. Focus yeah. here. Hey. Grace. Hey, Daddy. Is that what you wore today? Yes, why? You are never going to find a nice, wholesome, God-fearing man wearing a dress like that. What do you mean? I mean, it's not too short. It is right above my knee. It's, it's so tight fitting and it, it leaves nothing to the imagination and so much cleavage. Daddy, I mean, my dress is not too tight and I can't help if my breasts are noticeable. <laughs> Isn't that what attracted you to mom? And besides, who said that I was looking for a wholesome god fairy man anyway? Daddy, I'm fine with the way that my life is now. I'm not thinking about marriage. Look, no daughter of mine is going to run these streets like some heathen. I didn't say that either. Grace. doing? This guy is freaking stalking me. What guy? Where, where's he, he at? He's right there. Uh. Where's he at? Well. So, um, where are you headed? <laughs> It's open! Holy dear, what have you got for us? For my favorite ladies, only the best. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> this glaucoma is starting to take over my life. I can oh, barely no. see 10 feet in front of me. Tell me about it. On the drive over here, the whole way, I kept hearing beeping. I thought it was a car. It was my goddamn pacemaker. You scared me to death. Well, if you were so scared, then maybe you should have drove. Well, I would have, but I've got this arthritic condition in my hands. Ladies. Come here. Come hither. Come sit down. Polly has what's going to make you feel so much better. I just packed your freshies, okay? I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. Uh, it's Ramon. Ramon. Look, I really appreciate your help back there. Oh, you're welcome. Why don't you come inside? I love... <clears throat> I, I can't. I won't play. 
I can't. I can't. Last chance, handsome. Christine, Mr. King just called. He just arrived at the airport and he said for you to postpone the nine o'clock until he gets here. He's coming here? Yes. Now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Look at you. You're getting so big. Your daddy's proud of you. Look at how big you are. You're gonna make daddy very stony baloney one day. Is my baby thirsty? Okay, let me make it rain for you. That feels good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Okay, daddy has to go back to work. Bye-bye. Uh, Mr. King will be here shortly, and the nine o'clock has been postponed. Oh my God. Are you okay? I'm fine. Okay, well I'll see you at the meeting. I still think I should have used the cream cheese too. Again, with the cream cheese, man. What did you want with this? Mm, mm. It just would have worked. It would have worked. Oh, isn't that the dress you were so mesmerized by the other day? Indeed it is. I just love the way that dress fits you. Thanks, girl. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody be on their best behavior. This was Mr. King's first visit since he was appointed chairman. Bianca, you look tired. Late night at Bible study? No, I um, went to bed early. I didn't do anything last night. Absolutely we'll get it together, okay? First impression is the last impression. Remember that. Jessica, anything you want to say before Mr. King gets here? I'm good. Good morning. Good morning. 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 And you must be Kristen. It's nice to finally put a face with a voice. Good morning. It's great to meet you too. Let so me introduce hello. you. Hello. Who are you? Um, Bianca. Yes, you are. What's your position? Missionary. She does a lot of work with the church. She's an amazing person. Well, if you keep working really hard at that position, you'll be on top in no time. Uh, thank you, Mr. King. Please, call me Dick. Everyone, please, oh. call me Dick. Hi, Paul White. May I comment and say that is a lovely tattoo? You may! Yeah. Yeah, I got that in Jamaica at Hedonism. <laughs> and the things my wife and I did with those girls that we was... So, Paul. Yeah? Show me your presentation. Let me see what you got. Shiny. That is 
great. What do you think? Mm hmm It's great. Right? Yeah. Band's awesome. Right. <clears throat> that, that's how you land an account, people. Hey man, one dick pic coming at you, all right? Safe for Monday, all right? Get one for my mom.